Hi, Dave with your webinar, Skill Builder Minute, Closed Captioning for Webinars. Section 508 Compliance Expands Your Reach. ADA Section 508 requires federal agencies and their contractors to ensure that employees and members of the public with disabilities have access to information and data comparable to that of people without disabilities. By planning to meet 508 compliance, those who offer webinars can greatly expand their audience. For webinars, 508 compliance primarily involves closed captioning and the provision of materials such as PowerPoint presentations that can incorporate tools and techniques to accommodate people with disabilities. By far the largest hurdle is closed captioning. The most accurate option is to hire a professional service with talented stenographers and the ability to integrate stenography equipment, closed captioning software, and webinar platforms. However, this solution can involve a lot of coordination on the part of the webinar presenter or sponsor. Speech recognition software is an alternate option, although the initial outlay can be pricey. This software is most accurate once it learns an individual speech pattern which is loaded as a profile. It works best if the speaker is always the same or if the same person repeats what is said into the software. The do-it-yourself option can work if your webinar platform allows you to type in your own captions. However, speaking from experience, this is much more difficult than you might think. The best option is to use a managed webinar service provider. They would handle all of the registration, payment processing, and tech support, and they can also moderate your event. But most importantly, the managed service will provide integrated captioning for your webinar, a rough edit transcript, and a captioned recording. The pricing for managed service might be more than the other options, but it could make the difference between a disaster and a success. That's your Webinar Skill Builder Minute. Thanks for joining me.